Pythagorean triples. These are very commonly used, not only in geometry, but in algebra two and pre-calc and even into calculus, okay? So my Pythagorean triples, you may have noticed some uh, some things here when working with the Pythagorean theorem that sometimes you get all nice integers, right? So my first triple that we're gonna write down is a three, four, five triple, okay? Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. We also have five, 12, 13. Five squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. And then I've got eight, 15, 17, and then we have 7, 24, 25. We really don't get into any that are larger than that every once in a while, but those are the main four that you're going to see most common. Now, I can multiply or divide by any number of these with these, and they will still hold true, meaning I could have a 6, 8, 10 triangle. That's a 3, 4, 5 that's all been doubled, okay? And I can cut them in half. So I can get like, for this one, I can get like 2.5. I can get uh, 6, and then I can get 6.5. That still would hold true, okay? It's just a 5, 12, 13 that's been cut in half, all right? So let's do a couple examples with them. We want to find the missing side of the right triangles using Pythagorean triples. So not going to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared and, and calculate it all out. We're going to try to do this using the families. All right, so 14 and 50. That's not one of the ones that I just saw. But if I were to cut those both in half, I'd end up with 25 and I'd end up with 7. That would be my 7, 24, 25 triangle, but it's been doubled. So which side's the missing one? That 24 there. So 24 times 2 is going to give me 48. 48 would be my answer for that one, all right? Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. If you see it and you can use it, awesome. If you're like, I don't know if that's a triple or not, just do the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared and solve, okay? You don't wanna mix up and think it's a triple and it's not, okay? So, but try and practice with them. So for this next one here, I got 12 and 16. Hmm, again, not one of my triples. So how about this? If I cut 12, uh, let's divide that by four. Four. We can divide both of these by four. So if I divide this by four, I'd get four. And if I divide this by four, I'd get three. Ooh, perhaps it's a three, four, five triangle that has been quadrupled multiplied by four. So I'm going to get 20 for this side here. Five times four is going to give me 20. Three times four gives me 12. Four times four gives me 16. Five times four gives me 20. My answer is 20 for that one. All right. That was awesome. That was fantastic. Perhaps we're ready for something, you know, a little bit. A little mo, a little mo. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save this for another video. We're going to do a separate video with this one because it looks so fun. All right. See you in another video.